Greetings everyone! Today we're talking about tune shading for 3D pixel art, which was the starting point when I started this project. This style is quite common in 2D pixel art which we are trying to emulate. Our goal is to create something similar in 3D. For 3D reference I use Tessellier's work and the GDC talk from the creator of A Short Hike. A basic tune shader takes in a lighting value and calculates an output color. This takes into consideration how much shadow it receives and what is the base color. This base color is sampled from a base map. In a basic solution the shadow value samples a fixed gradient and with this value we lure between black and the chosen color. However, although the solution works, it doesn't provide flexibility with settings that we can use to stylize the mesh. I added another color value to work as the Lerp's shadow color instead of black. This makes the shades of the cell shading look better and provides more options for the artist. Another change that was inspired from a short hike was the formula for calculating the fixed gradient for the lighting value. This gradient is calculated like this and it provides a shade value which you can change to have a different amount of colors on the tune object. Later on I added base maps for both colors to make objects with multiple colors possible. These values also have defaults that make single colored objects easy and objects that already have a single base map defined easy to test as you can pass a constant shadow color. Tune shading and lighting go hand in hand. However, I often felt that tune shading, especially with additional lights, was done wrong stylistically in many existing options. I feel that additional lights should affect the shadow value instead of just changing the color. So I took the attenuation values of additional lights into consideration and got this look with the tune shadows following the additional lights. The light source's color affects the result's coloring in respect to how bright the light source is. And this is done with simple multiplication of colors, which could be changed to other blend methods if needed. Big thanks to Suanilux for providing great resources for implementing custom lighting. I'll link some of his GitHub stuff below. For clouds that move across the plains, I first created some 3D FBM noise from Simplex Noise in Shader Toy. It looked like this. With this done, I implemented it in HLSL for Unity and sampled this with World UVs. The value from the noise are combined with the lighting shadow value calculated earlier and applied to the tune shading. This method provided lots of variables to control for the FBM noise, and I even added it as a shader property so it is possible to use this shader without this feature compiled into it. The outlines are added as a similar shader property to provide the option to disable them without them affecting performance in the background. I discussed these in a previous video, if you are interested, Check that out in the description. Thanks for watching once again. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them down below. And if you are interested in following the progress of this project, like and subscribe. Bye.